Yes, come on in. Hello, George. Sorry about that, George. Uh, nice to see you this uh, today. Come for lesson two. That's lovely. If you'd like to sit down, I'll show you the uh, the second lesson. Now, the second lesson, George, is the angle bisector, and it's a little bit different to yesterday's lesson. A little bit harder, but I think you'll be okay. So, what I'm going to do is show you how to do the angle bisector. Now, first of all, you'll need an angle and. The examiner normally draws this on the exam paper for you, George, so there's not too much to worry about. And what we're going to try and do, George, is cut this angle exactly in half using our compasses again. So here's what we do. We can open the compasses today to any distance, so I'm choosing about mm, five centimetres, and place the point at the corner of the angle and just mark a little mark on that line on that side and another line on that side. And now we've got our two key marks that we're going to use. Don't alter the compass again. In fact, George, in all of these constructions, uh, the compasses never alter their distance. That's a top tip from Mr H. So, take the point of the compass now to where the first nick is that you've made and draw a sort of a circle in the middle of the angle. Now pick up your compasses, move them to the other nick that you made and do a circle as well and make sure they intersect like we did in lesson one. Okay George. And now all we've got to do is join the point of the angle to where the two circles intersect. Be nice and accurate about it George please and take your time to do this and you'll find that the line that we've drawn exactly cuts the other uh, angle in half. Okay with that one? Lesson two. Well done George. See you tomorrow for lesson three.